Welcome to another Transformers Generations review. This time we're looking at the Cybertronian Megatron figure from the War for Cybertron uh, subline. Now this is a very very nice figure. I like it a lot. It's probably one of my favorite Megatron figures. Uh, probably at least in the top five. And it's definitely one of the better uh, Generations figures and mainly because it has a very simple transformation as opposed to the transformations for both I will either Optimus, Bumblebee, or Soundwave which had fairly complicated transformations. This one's real simple real and just very effective. Uh, it comes in its tank mode which is quite nice. Cybertronian tank and you can flip the wheels underneath to kind of get a hover mode going for it. One thing I will have to say about this mode is at least for me, getting the, the turret to stick to the tank mode was a pain in the ass. I don't know why it was so difficult for me. But uh, speaking of the turret, one little neat thing that I like is, um, let's see if I can zoom in anymore. These on the barrel, when you loaded the missile up, these uh, little bits turn purple. And like you see when you fire it, you don't see the purple bits anymore. Just I guess to show like the dark energon influence on Megatron, perhaps. But uh, let's get him transformed. Uh, pop off the the gun, and you can see he's not really much of anything without it. Gonna flip out the legs. There we go. And rotate out the feet, flatten these parts out. Legs are done. Separate out the arms, which you did not see. The arms were straight. <laughs> Man, this, uh, there we go. The arms are straight like this. Just uh, pull them out to the side. This piece will somehow fold away. Yeah, like that. Uh, fold out halves of the hands on each side. And they will kind of... That kind of creates a... That reminds me of... Oh, this reminds me of a... Uh, Transmetal 2 Optimus Miners kind of sub mode where he could split his arms into four arms. Kind of reminds me of that. Collapse them together. And then kind of fold the arms back in place here. Fold this piece up, which, which, uh, before, and a piece you really don't see that much. It has some really nice detail there. We'll fold this up and you can see that on the back there's a Decepticon symbol molded into his back. Very cool looking. And then fold up this chest piece. Attach his gun. Which is a lot easier this time. And there you have War of Cybertron Megatron. Which I think is really a great design for a Megatron, very intimidating. It definitely uh, has some G1 influences in it, but it just definitely takes its own take uh, own turn on it. Articulation, he has a little bit of head movement. A hinge here. A limited movement outward. A really nice uh, single hinged elbow, but it goes all the way up to his shoulder. With swivel there. And because of the transformation, no wrist articulation. Surprisingly, no waist. Uh, there's nothing really obstructing, so I'm not sure why they couldn't work one in there. Hip swivel, in and out, knee, and foot. So, posability is, for the most part, pretty good, but it does some, has some awkward mo uh, points in it where it seems like it's kind of lacking. Uh, com size comparison with, uh, say, 
Generations, Optimus Prime, Cybertronian mode. See that Megatron is just a little bit taller, which uh, suits him a little bit. A little bit, I mean a lot. Really wish they would have made a Zeta Prime. Uh, but uh, Fall of Cybertron's coming out. Well, I'm getting, as of this recording, which is very late Sunday night, I'll be getting my Fall of Cybertron Wave 1 tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and Megatron does have a new design for Fall of Cybertron, but no figure has been announced of that yet, so it's kind of weird. But even if they don't, I won't mind because I still like this figure a lot. It doesn't look too terribly different, different, but it definitely looks a lot more beefier and bulkier than this design. But I really do still like this figure a lot. I recommend them it to your generations or your, you know, your Fall of Cybertron game characters, or you might even want to put this in your with your Prime figures because supposedly they are the same canon. So I would definitely recommend picking this one up. Alright, until next time, thank you for watching.